Yo, so this is my first ever vlog on Channel 304 there. Um, we decided in 2018 that it was time 304 started vlogging. We both got obsessed, me and Sean got obsessed with a guy called Gary Vlee, who vlogs all the time. His books are absolutely incredible. So we thought, why not? We're going to give it a go. He talks about how people like to see the documentation of things rather than just the end product and what people create. So here it is. We're doing it now. This is our first one. They're going to be every two weeks and keep the content fresh, but then also not overload you with just too many vlogs and people get bored. Everyone's attention span's gone. So we're going to discuss the brand story, first of all, which is going to be about how we started the brand back in apartment three or four in Manchester. We made Best for Park Life Festival, and I'll tell you the whole story. Um, we're going to go into our goals in 2018, discuss the growth we had in 2017 at the end after Black Friday and Christmas, <clears throat> which was absolutely incredible. We smashed every record we could ever think of doing. We'll go through the rebrand we went through 12 months ago. Went from 304 hashtag to 304. Hopefully the logo's gonna show up there if I can edit it right. Um, the projects we've got coming up in 2018, including a World Cup project. Um, and then if there's anything else you want us to discuss, just comment below. And even myself, Sean or John or whoever else will try and do a vlog on it at some point in the year. Um, the first one we're doing today, I'm gonna to keep it quite short. Um, just because this is about my 15th attempt of this vlog already, is based on three or four in the community. So we decided just before Christmas that with it being Christmas, we wanted to give something back rather than just taking in, because obviously the business was doing well. Um, so we were taking more in, we wanted to give more back. So over the course of the year, we get so many samples new collections and they just start sitting in boxes which I'll show a video of some of the boxes that are in my bedroom now where I'm vlogging from and they're just wasted they're 10 times more useful out there with people using them so we decided to put them in a suitcase head out onto the streets of London Victoria Euston and give them to homeless people who needed the clothes at Christmas it was cold and they were just sitting there in pretty much my bedroom so we went round, we gave them to homeless people, uh, even at one point, which is the most heartwarming story, is uh, we gave a homeless guy a large coat, I think it was, and we went over and found another person. We went to give him a large coat and he already had one of the three or four jackets and we were like, oh, you already, he was like, yeah, yeah, I've got one. Um, my friend, I think his name was Johnny, has already given me the coat. It was too small for him. And I mean, me and Jess at the time were just absolutely gobsmacked because the generosity and the community spirit between the homeless people was evident in front of our eyes. We could see it, the fact that he could have used it for a blanket, for anything, but he decided that his friend was going to get better use from it because he could actually physically wear it. Um, and that was just incredible. I mean, it blew our minds and it's something that will stay with us forever, I think. Um, as the day went on, we gave out all our clothes. We were left with a bunch at the end because we just couldn't find people. We were wandering the wrong way and stuff. Um, so we tweeted out, hopefully I'll show the tweet, uh, and a company called Linky UK got in touch and said that they could take our samples off us and then distribute them to homeless shelters and homeless people themselves. That's what, they're, that's what they do, that's their business. Um, so we, we said, yeah, so going forward in 2018 now, in London, all our samples will be given directly to Linky UK, who are then going to go and give them out to everyone they know better than we do, who needs it, where the areas are most affected with the homeless people. So they're going to do it. And I mean, any other businesses out there that are thinking about doing it, Linky UK, I'll put the description in below and give them a hit them up. Uh, go call Natasha, send us an email, and yeah, just get in touch, do it as well. We're looking to do the same in Birmingham and Manchester because that's where Sean and John are both based. We all work remotely. Um, so anyone who knows of a shelter in those two cities that would also like the samples or leftover stock, please do <clears throat> get in touch and we'll, yeah, we'll have the conversation. Um, our next initiative with the community is based around a guy called John Joe Rooney, who's a really good friend of mine, Sean and John's. He had leukemia about 10 years ago and beat it. He set up his own uh, non-profitable charity called Be Positive, um, based on the blood type. And 
ever since 304 and John Joe and Be Positive have done things together, um, donations and pledges and events together and things, and we want to step it up, we want to help them more. Um, so we're looking at putting a gift aid on the website, so every time you purchase, you have the opportunity to put an extra pound in. That pound will then go to Be Positive's pot of money. Um, 304 will then also contribute a pound to the pot, um, and then at the end of each month, we will use that money to make hoodies, t-shirts, hats, whatever else they need for their events when they have guest speakers doing uh, talks in hospitals and when John Joe's going to meet people that have been affected by leukemia or other diseases. Um, and also the contributors to his website and blog, which is anyone who's been affected by um, disease and beaten it and wants to share their story to inspire other people. They get given a free hoodie and a free t-shirt so they can they can share the share the brand share the be positive so that's why we want to do that we want to get involved with it that's going to come later in the year once we look we figure out the logistics of how the gift aid is going to work on the website how it's going to sort of work between a business and non-profit and stuff so all that stuff's going to get ironed out <clears throat> hopefully over the next two months and that will be going live in march hopefully in the meantime the next in the community thing, we're going to hopefully do exactly what we did in London in Manchester. So hopefully anyone that watches this from Manchester that works at a shelter or anything can just get in touch with me. I'll put my email below and we, well, that's what we're looking to do in February. Tons of other ideas that we're going to do, which I know Sean will talk about in a vlog later in the year. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's our first vlog. Hopefully you haven't got bored. Hopefully you've liked a little bit about what we're trying to do in 2018 in terms of giving back rather than taking in. And yeah, if you like it, subscribe, like, comment, all our social medias below, website, the link to Linky, everything's going to be in the description. So have a look, subscribe. Our next one will be going live two weeks Wednesday. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.